Yeah. Well, anyway, we're, we're delighted to have you with us and uh, to bring that experience. Let's start with just a general discussion about the issues that the, uh, the four of you think are significant this session that we're likely to get to, uh, and then uh, we'll move on to some specific questions from our viewers. Representative Anderson, let's start with you. What, uh, what do you see as the significant issues in the, uh, in the weeks ahead to May 22nd or thereabouts whenever the legislature goes home? Sure. Well, the top two things that we have on our docket are the bonding bill and also the tax conformity bill. With the federal tax bill coming into law, we're going to have to make some changes in Minnesota to figure out how this impacts Minnesotans and how we can make sure that there is a seamless transition and it makes it easier for Minnesotans to file their taxes and that they don't, at the end of the day, have to do tax gymnastics to file for mm -hmm. uh, state income taxes that they put out there. So that, and then of course the bonding bill, it is a bonding year, so I anticipate that we'll be talking about capital improvements in Minnesota all across the state. Senator Kiffmeyer? Well, I would say for me, um, I have government oversight um, committee responsibility over the Minnesota IT infrastructure. And then on the transportation committee that I serve on, we also have MINLARS. And those are two very serious problems right now, very, very serious. So it's taking a lot of focus, a lot of time to really dig down and why are we having these problems that have been going on for a while. Nothing seems to work. Uh, people out there are really hurting and frustrated. Uh, I personally, I'm waiting seven months for a car license. Mm -hmm. and, but there are others who are doing transfers, plates. Uh, there are people being picked up by the police because they have wrong plates. And uh, they're just all kinds of really not good things, and it's costing Minnesota people. So that's probably uh, the main focus that I work on right now. And then just roads. I live in a district that has Interstate 94, Highway 10, 169, 25, Burlington Northern, uh, Mississippi River, but transportation is a huge issue in my district, so that's also a large amount of my I time. I think you've just covered most of the state with those highways. <laughs> <clears throat> um, represent or Senator Frentz, rather. Um, I'll try to get the senator piece right in it, but if I call you Roy, we'll know why, won't we? <laughs> I appreciate so, that. Yeah. Senator Friends, tell us a little bit about uh, what you think are going to be the big issues. Well, I have to agree. I think tax conformity will probably be the top issue that we face. Uh, Minnesotans expect us to get things simplified, and they don't want to see a tax increase based on the federal changes that were made in December, and that's going to take some work. So my hat's off to anybody that serves on taxes. Um, I agree with Senator Kiffmeyer. Transportation will get some attention. We have been fighting to go in transportation from a mainframe system to a web-based system for over a decade now. And we're at a point here with MinLARS where the rollout really was a mess. It's still a mess, and we're watching people across the state, especially dealers and deputy registrars, um, ask us, hey, fix it. There's a good testimony in the last couple of days about that that includes talking about ways that some have improved and some haven't, and we've got a request on the table for another $10 million to um, make it go the next step. I'm signing on to a bill tomorrow that will be dropped for that $10 million, and we'll see. One of the things I think is important to everybody in Minnesota is, regardless of how we got to this point, what are we going to do now going forward to fix it? And so we can debate that, and I, I like the debate, being a former debater myself. Um, I would say also that... We're looking at the bonding bill, which I hear positive things about for Minnesotans, and I know we can disagree sometimes about the total dollars, but I think we'll do a good job, and I think Minnesotans will be glad when it's all said and done to have bonding come through and have some uh, geographic diversity of those projects as well as some solid housing and hopefully some roads and bridges. Where does it make weight? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to repeat everything everyone else said. I, yeah. I love the bonding bill because as a freshman in the minority, uh, when the bonding bill originates in the House and, the, you know, we need bipartisan support for it, there's a lot more that I can do. So I'm really excited about the bonding bill. Um, but what will continue to be an issue, I know, for me and for constituents in my community, gun violence prevention will continue to be something that they talk about. Um, Renewable energy is always going to be really important. I have a bill to increase our renewable energy standard to 50 percent by 2030 that has bipartisan support in both the Senate and the House. So we'll continue to focus on that. I continue to hear about mental health, um, and I want to make sure that we are still having conversations about that and addressing it. I dropped a bill today for mental health parity, which is going to be really crucial. And um, as much as we can talk about health care, we want to make sure that our health care system's main priority is to make and keep people healthy and that the amount of money you have, it does not determine how healthy you get to be. So those are going to be priorities for me and um, certainly for my community. But as someone who's not a chair or a chair in the Senate as well, or not even a senator where there's a one-seat minority, um, those are the things I'm going to make sure we keep working on. 